if you look at verse number 11, we have a, we have a, a conflict here between the Apostle Paul and Peter. And what Peter was doing was in the wrong, okay? But what Peter did impacted then other people. And they, the Bible says here they got carried away with their dissimulation. And the title of my sermon this morning is Carried Away with Dissimulation. And, and one of the goals of preaching this here today is I don't want you to be carried away with other people's dissimulation. I don't want you to be like the Barnabas that's following Peter that's in the wrong and going off and separating from people they shouldn't be separating with for stupid reasons because some other wicked person is turning their hearts away or because they're afraid or whatever, you know, it, it's, it, you know, I, I've heard people, it, it's one of those things, you know, people might throw at you, oh, well, if you, if you don't separate from them, then you don't stand with Jesus, right? I've heard things like that. I've heard comments like that. Oh, well, then you just worship a man. No, not at all. I do have a friend. I have a friend that I see no reason because uh, uh, I'm not going to let <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's look down at the passage here first. Let's look at the dissimulation. Verse number 11. But when Peter was come to Antioch, I withstood him to the face because he was to be blamed. First of all, I just want to say this. If somebody, especially a pastor, an apostle, right? Someone who's, who's a teacher that is in the wrong and is to be blamed. What does Apostle Paul do? He withstood him to the face. He sees a problem with Peter. He sees a problem that something's going on. What did he do? Did he call up a bunch of his friends and say, hey, do you know what Peter's doing? Hey, look at what Peter's doing. Hey, what do you think about what Peter's doing? Hey, I just want to get your opinion. And let me say this too. It goes along with the sermon last week. Mine's being evil affected. You know, people might say, oh, I wasn't making any accusations. I was just asking questions. You know how many times people can, can insert thoughts and just try to get your mind evil affected by other people by just asking questions? Be aware of that. Okay, watch out for people who want to sour you against someone else and say, oh, well, I was just asking questions. And when it happens once with one person, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. And see, I was involved in this and I was receiving phone calls. And I thought I was the only person receiving phone calls. When I found out that there's a whole bunch of people receiving phone calls, now all of a sudden I'm starting to question the motivation. What is it? What, what is your goal? Do you really just need to start asking all, oh, well, what about this? And what about that? And hey, look at this. What's the purpose of that? I'll tell you what the purpose is, is to drag somebody's name through the mud and drag them down and try to get a bunch of people together against someone else who's doing a great work for God. That's the purpose. It's trying to sow discord among brethren that have unity. What else could it be? Because as we get in this, I'm going to show you there is no reason for the dissimulation. Just as in Galatians chapter 2, there is no reason for this dissimulation. It was wicked and wrong. There was no purpose for it. It was not righteous. It's not right. We need to learn when it's right to separate, when it's right to be you know, split apart from people, and when it's not right. And when you're actually just doing more harm than good by being super sanctified and ultra-righteous and just so separated that you can't have any friends. Because the Bible doesn't teach that either. 